The pilot of a home-built plane who died after crashing in bad weather has been described as a larrikin and a family man. Police are now trying to work out why Robert Gregg, who had thousands of hours of flying experience, got into difficulties near Wollongong last night. Robert Gregg loved life, loved planes and loved to fly. Rob was good fun, good fellow to be around, uh, a character, uh, and uh, a fellow who's passionate for aviation, passionate for aeroplanes. The 57-year-old had been a pilot for four decades and a keen member of the New South Wales Sport Aircraft Club at Wedderburn Airport. It's an extended family. My father calls it a brotherhood. Today, that brotherhood, as well as Mr Gregg's family, are devastated after the camouflage-coloured light aircraft Mr Gregg built himself crashed on an escarpment at Austinmere during bad weather. Without doubt, I think the visibility was, was also described as marginal. Uh, it would have been a very complicated manoeuvre to have pilots flying in the conditions that they were flying in last night. Mr Gregg and a mate in another plane took off from Wedderburn around 7pm bound for Albion Park. At 7.45, residents between Sublime Point and Bulleye Tops called Triple O after hearing a loud bang. Police homed in on Mr Gregg's mobile phone signal and together with SES volunteers searched until almost midnight and from early this morning. At 8am they found the wreckage a few hundred metres from homes. There's only a couple of walking tracks in there so it's very rugged terrain, very steep, um, pretty much rainforest. Obviously we've had a lot of rain in the area wet, slippery, muddy. Because the plane was a home-built recreational aircraft, the crash won't be investigated by the Australian Transport Safety Bureau. Instead, Wollongong Police and two investigators from Recreational Aviation Australia will be looking into it. Police say no flight recorder was on board, so exactly what caused Mr Gregg to crash may never be known. Mazoe Ford, ABC News, Austin Mir.